Yes. What if you get a guy, another role play, what if you get a guy who's not ready to make a commitment, is not ready to bring money with him or anything like that? What do you do with that? Are you still going to get in your car and meet him at Starbucks, Starbucks Chris? Oh. Hey, Chris, I'm really looking forward to this meeting. You know, we're shopping around for the, uh, the right person to re uh, work with on, on this uh, real estate deal. And, uh, you know, my wife really likes you and everything. So I'm looking forward to the meeting today. I have a lot of, I have a whole book full of questions for you. Well, you, you know, I, I appreciate you uh, sharing that information with me, Claude. And, you know, I think a, a, a great amount of you as well. Uh, you sound like a very intelligent guy. Uh, but, you know, when we get there today, uh, let's pretend, let's imagine for a second that you, everything checks out. You like what I have to offer and I can solve this problem for you today. Will you be able, will you be prepared to write a check and, and move forward and, and let's do a contract when we get there? Wow. you That's a little fast. Uh, you know, like I said, we're just kind of investigating. We're shopping for quotes and things like that right now. Oh, shopping for quotes. Well, okay. Okay. Um, well, um, let me ask you this one second. Let me just ask you a quick question. Um, when we last talked, I got here in my notes that you said if, I, if, if we were able to solve this problem for you and that you'd be ready to move forward and get this done today. And so something that's changed over time. You, uh, this is not well, something. You know, well, to be perfectly honest with you, um, um, my, my, my wife's, uh, my brother-in-law, my wife's brother, he's, he's thinking about getting into real estate also. And she said I should talk to him too. He just got started. Absolutely. Well, I mean, why why are we meeting today? Why don't you just go ahead and do the deal with him? Well, you know, I thought that you've been in business, what, 10 years now and everything like that. And I'm sure you know a lot more than him. Um, maybe, you know, maybe you're right. Maybe we, I don't know. Um, I mean, do we have to do, do we have to, do I have to uh, make a commitment today and everything? Do I, do we have to do this all today? Um, yeah, yeah, well, Back to, to my notes, you told me that you were ready to move forward um, and, and that you had a problem that you wanted to get taken care of. I said that I'd help bring you. Up, with bring up my three to six needs and greets right now. Make me emotional so I fire my brother-in-law. Go ahead. Okay. Um, and, and you told me that you wanted to get to do a real estate deal today. Uh, you want you need to start making money. You didn't want your wife and your kids to, uh, you know, be going to the schools they were going to. And you needed, you oh, know. Yeah more food on the table yeah, for you. School family. is hor school is horrible. My kids it's it, it uh, I got to get them out of that school. Yeah, absolutely. You wanted to leave a legacy. You wanted to do all of this and stop working that 9 to 5 job that you have that's, you know, making you uh stress you out so much. Is, is that not what you were uh you know, is that not what you're trying to get done? Yeah, you're right. Heck with that brother-in-law. He's a jerk anyway. Um I'm going to yeah, let's 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 move forward. Let's. Uh, I want to have a meeting with you, and and if everything you say is is uh, like you, like you just said, uh, yeah, I, let's just do this. Uh, okay, what? I I want to move forward with you, absolutely. Oh, uh, and uh, when we get there today, you know, let's just pretend that everything that we sit down and we discuss. It, it fits exactly what you're trying to do. Everything that we just talked about. Are you going to be ready to move forward? Or yeah, we, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm ready. If, if everything is as you said and everything, I'm going to bring my checkbook or a credit card. And uh, yes, I want to move forward today. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you're the right guy. I feel really good about you, Chris. Thank you. I feel really good about you. You know, I made it up in my mind a long time ago that me and you were going to do business. And, and you know, I'm, I'm glad that I met you and I'm, I'm looking forward to helping you out and, and getting this moving you to the next phase. All right. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> this was a bro. This was a bro fest there. All that stroking and nurturing. That was great. <laughs> but that this is the stuff we hear and we get. And if I told you that I wasn't ready to make a decision or I don't have the money or I can't, I don't know if I'll be on time. Are you still going to go? Are you going to fire me? I hope. Absolutely. Absolutely. I was getting ready to fire you. You said that um, you were going to go with your brother. I, why don't you go with him? You know, I, I think me and you should maybe talk after you and your brother talk. Okay. And who solved the problem with the brother-in-law just got started? Who took care of it? You did. I did, right. Because make the process, this is important, make the prospect into the salesperson. Make them do all the heavy lifting. 
Make them do all the work. You know, we're always on the defensive. They throw garbage at us and then we get defensive and everything like that. Well, listen, if you want to work with your brother-in-law, I understand that family's important and everything, but do you, do you really feel that a guy who just got started in business is going to have all the answers and be able to protect you as opposed to someone who's been in business for 10 years? That wouldn't have, that would make me nervous. How would you feel about that, Mr. Prospect? Now, let me ask you this, Claude. Uh, sure. Let's say that he, uh, you know, I wanted to go ahead and fire him. What, what, what would that sound like? Hey, Chris, you know, you know what? I, it doesn't sound like we're going to be able to do the business today. And I respect that. I know you want to get into a new home, but money sounds like a challenge right now. Maybe you need more time. You're investigating other people. And it doesn't sound like you're ready to move into a property in the next 30 days. Why do I get that feeling, Chris? Well, you know, my brother-in-law, he, he's, he's trying to help me out, and I think I want to go that way. And, and okay, money. listen, family's important. Blood is thicker than, uh, than Slurpees, right? Uh, you, know, uh, go, you know, I would do the same thing if I was in your position. But this is probably the most important decision of your life. This is a home, your first home, right? Yes. Do you want, uh, do you want to work with somebody who's been in business for 10 years or somebody who's just getting started and just help out a family member? You know, I want to work with a professional, but you know, money is kind of tight. And uh, okay, sounds like it's sounds like it over. It's over. Anything else before I go? Because I have about eight appointments today. Um, why do you think I'm so busy? By the way, before I go, why do you think I have eight appointments today? Well, um, you you must be pretty good at what you do. You're right. I'm very good at what I do. I help people get into their home, get the tax benefits, get equity, get pride of ownership, move into the right neighborhood, the right schools. I don't know if these things are important to you or not. Maybe not. They, no, those are very important. You know what? I think I, think I, I, I want to do business with you. You sure? You said you think. I, I mean, I want you to feel good about this. It's okay to say no to me. I've got plenty of other things to do today. No, I made, I made up my mind. I, I want to do it. I'm what? Ready. I'm, re I'm ready to do whatever we got to do. I love that. Thank you. I appreciate your trust. And I'll see you today at 2.30 sharp at the Starbucks. And, and the lattes are on me, okay? Okay. I'll see okay. you. Then. That was good. That was a good role play. Yeah. Here's the great expression. Ladies, excuse me, but it's my friend Niles Larson told me this expression. He, he's from Kentucky. He says, don't pee on my back and tell me it's raining. Okay. okay, so when they throw garbage at you, don't get defensive. Oh, but I'm smarter, I'm better, I'm bigger. And say, hey, you know, that's a family member. You know, you, you probably should work with them, but, and then you fix it. Just like that. That was a really good role play. We have 30 seconds left. Anybody have a comment or a really quick question before we go?